Good morning students and welcome you again to the online class of Monbeshia School and you know I am your English literature teacher and again today I will continue with chapter 3 that is homesickness. So everyone take out your book. So we have started this chapter yesterday only homesickness where a person feels like going back to home that means he misses his home it's, uh, very much. In this chapter also we came across about a little boy who is 9 years old and he wanted to come back to his home from his school uh, that was St. Peter's. What he thought, he thought of a plan that he'll behave as if he had an appendicitis and because of that illness he wanted to uh, come back to his school. And how he knows about this because his sister recently had it. So he knows the symptoms of these uh, very uh, nicely and that was why he thought of taking this uh, so that he can go back to his home so this chapter that para 4 already have uh, ex uh, already have gone through with this para 4 and today I'll just explain it that uh, though the sister she had an operation uh, of appendicitis but the operation has not been done in any hospital it is done at home only by the local doctor and the anesthesis and his anesthesis anesthesis is a kind of uh, substance that is given to a person so that the part where it will be operated just to make that part so that the uh, that part was done uh, anesthesia so that the person should not feel anything any pain from that part okay on this occasion i can remember lurking in the corridor outside the nursery while the operation was going on lurking here means everyone used to wait quietly and secretly because something very important was going inside the house my other sisters were with me and we stood there spellbound that means watching what will going to happen listening to the soft magical murmurs that means the noise that they used to get coming from behind the locked doors and picturing the patient with her stomachs sliced open we could even smell the sickly fumes of either filtering through the crack under the door so they can see that the part which has to be operated they have opened that part and then the operation had been started they could also smell all kind of medicine as it was used so all those type of smell they can also uh, they can smell all those things also the next day we were allowed to inspect the appendix itself in a glass bottle now appendicitis it's a kind of it's a kind of thing it's a small organ that is attached to the intestine okay this i already explained you yesterday so in the operation this has to be removed and then it was put in a bottle just to show the other members of the family it was a longish black warmy looking thing and I said, do I have one of those inside me, nanny? So he is asking to his nanny also that whether this type of thing is there inside his body also or not. Everybody has one, nanny answered. So what the nanny answered that yes, every one of us had this appendicitis in our body. What's it for? I asked her. Then she asked, what is the use? What is the function of it? God works in his mysterious way, she said, which was her stock reply whenever she did not know the answer. Now, the granny also don't know what the answer is, why he asks this and what is the function of this organ inside the body. The granny doesn't know. So, what he said, he said that it's a mysterious, God works in a mysterious way. So, here he, she says something about the God. Okay, so the granny's answer is very mysterious itself because she don't know the answer and that is why she said the name of God. What makes us go bad? I asked her. Then his next question is why we has to be operated it and to take it out. Toothbrush bristles, she answered. This time with no hesitation at all. Now toothbrush, you know everyone brushes the teeth every morning 
and bristles are the things which is there uh, on the toothbrush through which we brush our teeth. Nanny, who in my eyes was filled with more wisdom than Solomon replied, Whenever a bristle comes out of your toothbrush and you swallow it, it sticks in your appendix and turns it rotten. Rotten is which makes it spoiled. Okay, so what is the answer of Nanny? She is saying that when you are brushing your teeth, if that bristle goes inside your stomach and that sticks to the uh, appendix and then it starts rotting in the wax. She went on, the German spies used to secretly send box loads of loose uh, bristles toothbrushes into our shops and millions of our soldiers got appendicitis. Honestly, Nani, I cried. Is that honestly true? So whatever Nani uh, explained, how this happened. So the boy is also very much surprised to hear that and he started asking whether it's correct or not whether it's true or not why because the uh, nanny said that german spies spies means those who uh jasus a kind of jasus okay they used to sell these to uh, box loads of tooth bristles brushes into our shops so the this is what the answer of nanny she is saying i never lied to you child she answered so let that be a lesson to you never to use an old toothbrush so what is nanny's answer nanny said that i never lied to you so that is why whatever i said you should listen and you should not use a uh, old toothbrush for years after that i used to get nervous whenever i found a toothbrush bristle on my tongue okay so let's complete till here only let finish for today here only after this what happens why nanny said all these things to the boy definitely i will i'll reveal in my next video till then you please read the chapter whatever i taught whatever i explained today thank you